So we're in the middle of kitchen renovations here and I uh, <laughs> use one of our motel rooms, number four, as our painting room. And yes, I know I don't have a proper respirator mask on, but uh, when I did this outside with the furniture, I didn't use any mask at all. And uh, anyway, my husband's gonna pick me up a proper respirator, so I just have a dust mask for now. But I'll show you what I've been doing. So as you come in the room, we have a couple of work surfaces set up for laying out my backsplash. This is the backsplash tiles. And this is my painting station. I have a turntable there. These are pretty big, I don't bother turning it. I just walk around. So here's the box they came in. I have 18 of these and 17 of the other ones for the ceiling. This is my work surface. I have, um, I had one here yesterday. I had six along here and seven eight on the table, and then I had the last one stored over here. This is on top of the ones I did yesterday. So, they're just slightly less shiny. After I spray them so they're not so glaring when the light hits them. So the first thing I do with the tiles is I have to wash them down. So I just use isopropyl alcohol and a shop rag. So I wipe off any um, grease or dirt that comes on them from the factory and you know it takes you know 20 seconds to do this whole thing and then I always make sure that my paint can is very well shaken so between coats I shake and like between tiles I shake and I'm just using the trim clad clear because I just really want it um a protective layer, these are on my backsplash behind my stove. I want to protect them from any moisture or humidity, at least the fronts. <laughs> I didn't do anything with the back. So uh, that's what I'm doing here. Put my mask on so I don't inhale anything. I'm indoors, but I have that window open, the door open, those windows open, and uh, I usually take a little bit of a break in between because I'll move one over to the drying area and I'll get the other one ready, so it's not a constant stream of paint. But it does smell kind of stinky, so luckily I only have to do nine and then I run out of space. So I just finished doing the first coat on all nine tiles. As you can see in the light, they're still shiny. They're just not incredibly so. So there's six on that wall. Seven was on the round table. Here's eight on top of the other um, ones from yesterday. And the other patterns underneath there too. And number nine. I'm going to set my timer for one hour. And I'm going to come back and do another coat on them. And then they dry for four hours. And I'm, I've almost used up the one can. I, I may have enough for the second one. I may have to start the next can. I bought five cans. I had no idea how much I was going to need. So clearly I didn't need that much. And I also have my compressor there. And I have my new paint guns. So um, that's for um, other projects we're going to be painting. Stay tuned. So here I am with my new respirator mask that my husband was able to pick me up. It's a 3M performance respirator just for painting projects. It's awesome. These are my ceiling tiles. I came back a few days later and started with those. And I used also the Rust-Oleum paint. And I did it in the Blossom white color. That's my painting room set up. Um, I'm also doing other, other painting projects. So those tiles... Um, this is two coats, and they left a real speckled coat that first um, the first few 
sprays from that one can. The first couple tiles I think had that speckle. It did end up fading after I think I put four coats of white on these, so it did eventually go away. Here is my paint room set up with my sprayer. Um, this is where my tiles were to wash and get ready. My air compressor, of course, I needed that for my paint guns. And I kept painting everything in that dresser. There I am all suited up. And I got some extra lighting. It's awesome for working at night.